Good day, welcome to my channel. So on Facebook I see there's a lot of questions and uncertainty regarding the stock firmware on your Ender printer. If you're using the Sonic Pad, why and how can you go back to your stock firmware? So I've got the Ender 3S1 Pro here. I've got the need to also use the CV laser, laser module from time to time. Uh, I've got it here. So, you know, it's a bit of a what now? How do I get this laser to work with the Sonic Pad? So at the moment, there's no, as far as I know, Clipper support to run the CV laser module on the S1 or the S1 series for that matter. So I would need to revert back to the stock firmware in order to use my laser. So it's a simple step, guys, really. At the moment, I've got the Sonic Pad connected to the printer. The main board is flashed with the firmware that the Sonic Pad actually populates or generates following the initial steps by setting up your Creality Sonic Pad. So what I would like to do normally is um, copy my firmware files, both Clipper and the Marlin firmware, into my firmware folder. You can see there is the latest firmware for the S1 Pro and then the Clipper firmware that the Sonic Pad generates. So if I want to revert back to stock firmware, I simply copy the stock firmware Go back to my update folder, paste my firmware is already there, so I'll just replace it. And then um, you check the SD card and uh, flash that to my printer. If I want the Clipper firmware to be able to use the Sonic Pad, I simply copy and paste the Clipper firmware to my update directory, delete the stock firmware eject the SD card and then flash my mainboard with the Clipper firmware. That way you can connect the Sonic Pad. Right, so to refer your firmware back to stock firmware, which is the Marlin based firmware, copy your stock firmware to your SD card, insert your SD card to your, into your printer. I would like to recommend just removing the USB cable so that the pad doesn't attempt to connect to the printer. Switch your printer on. Printer will flash the stock firmware to the main board. Here we go, then you're back to stock firmware. In my case, I'll be able to use my CV laser module, module again, which I won't be able to use with the Clipper or the Sonic Pad because it doesn't support this laser, laser module. So uh, that's how you revert the firmware, guys. And then when you want to go back to using the Sonic Pad, you simply switch the printer off. Take out your SD card and then copy the clipper firmware.bin file to the fo update folder and flash the firmware again. Connect the Sonic Pad and turn on your uh, printer. So that is it from me. I hope you guys found this video to be informative. If you like these kind of videos, please drop a like, comment, share and subscribe. Please guys, keep well, stay safe, have a nice day. Cheers.